first question is why do you think the systems are failing what would you think we can do about it hmm. and see when it comes to data driven decision making how can we inculcate this into our education systems there is a lot to unpack there but typically the systems that we have we tend to assume that they will go on forever but one things we need to consider is system failure is fairly normal if you look at these systems you you see one thing which is that they're quite recent we don't actually have a lot of data mm. to conclusively say why do things fail or what are the limits of such a system mm. we have vibes and these vibes we call constitutions but when it comes to the practical implementation there is a lot of failure points and a lot of places are literally winging it because we have plenty of examples of tyrannical systems that have lasted for thousands of years but the modern day question is we don't want tyranny how do we go about doing it and there are so many different answers to this you have sort of the libertarian side of things which says basically government should be as small as humanly possible let people make decisions in order to make it less autocratic in order to make it less autocratic government right. provides certain number of services it provides justice it provides you know upholding of contracts it provides basics but not everything and the people should be left free to do that 